tuning in to a Friday edition of NASCAR Race Up. I'm Caitlin Vinci, Trevor Bain, David Reagan will be here. We have a full show on tap for you today. So take a look at our three races. Uh, the drivers can have a lot of fun, but man, the fans can really enjoy some good short track racing that these next gen cars mm -hmm. provide. Short yeah, well, track season. The trucks are good short track season. I love short tracks. It's what we all grew up doing. Yeah. So all these drivers are going to feel right at home. We're going to talk plenty about Richmond throughout the course of the show, but take a look at this. In his whole career in the Cup Series. So we know these Toyotas will, will be fast this weekend. He's got some good teammates and some other people in Toyota camp to lean on, but I think he and Billy Scott will be interesting. Six qualifying a few years ago. Yeah, he, he got up. after Michael McDowell and Drew Blickens <laughs> so. Michael's a big guy. Yeah, that, okay. that would have been a pretty good little tussle, but you know, mm. the right buttons are pushed. And we're going to see if this is over, of course, between the 48 and Daniel Suarez moving forward when it comes to Richmond this weekend. Now, it's a big deal because that's what really penalizes the team, not the 100, you know, to four hundred thousand dollars. I mean, that's a lot of money, yeah. but that's not at the end of the day what they went to the appeal board for. Uh, you know, NASCAR seemed really disappointed in this outcome because they've been trying to draw a hard line in the sand of do not touch these parts. You know, these cars are not to be messed with. We're trying NASCAR. Yeah, here. and I'm a little more confused now than maybe I, I was a week ago. I, I think NASCAR needs to have a meeting with these appeal committee members and say, look, here's what we're trying to do. You, you got to stop confusing. Races since 1953. It's had a long story history with NASCAR and a number of drivers enjoyed their first career cup wins in the capital of Virginia. Take a look. The car over to NASCAR back in 1996 and after that move he went on to win 49 races in the cup series that included multiple championships and a spot in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. For our latest NASCAR 75 and 75 here's a look back at Tony's first cup win about his talent level. Yeah, I mean, Tony is a racer, and uh, whenever a rookie can win in the Cup Series, you know they're going to be special. But, you know, when I was a, a kid, I watched... 2, 4, and 11, are they going to be a threat for the win once again? Uh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> I, I mean, we, we, yeah, we just saw it. Yeah, these guys are, are really good. Spring at Richmond, and this season, we've been looking back at iconic moments from Victory Lane interviews from years past, and this time we focus on special ones from Richmond Raceway. Here's a trip down memory lane with the Victory Vaults. Spring at Richmond, and this season we've been looking back at iconic moments from Victory Lane interviews from years past, and this time we focus on special ones from Richmond Raceway. Here's a trip down memory lane with the Victory Vaults. Bowman, who temporarily has Greg Ives filling in as the Hendrick Crew Chiefs finish up serving their suspension. So that's just an interesting little note yeah. there, guys. Um, but what are we expecting out of Richmond? Obviously, different short track package, more of the same, totally different. What do you think? Yeah, I think when you take downforce off of a race, a cool racetrack, and I think you'll see some more of those memorable moments. Seems like a track that's a fan favorite of many of the drivers as well. And speaking of them, let's do a little matchups between some of these teams. In smart. So what are you looking forward to <laughs> on the weekend? Am I smart? <laughs> Well, you were smarter than us last week. We keep leaving Zane Smith on the table. She she smartened up quicker than us, picked him, and won yeah. the race. So, That's right. uh, you know, last weekend was crazy with the road course and strategy. Zane Smith still rising to the top, but Texas Motor Speedway, this is a totally different type racetrack. Maybe you could see the same result, though. You never know. That's why you're going to have to watch to find out. You guys mentioned Zane Smith, though. Here's one thing we didn't show you already. When we showed you the flag regulars, pretty much, no cup guys in the field. So what do you think we're going to see? Yeah, well, the track's going to be a little bit different with just the trucks out there. It's not going to rubber up quite as quick, so the race will play a little different. Pit strategies out the window with the pit stops being, uh, you know, under caution only with, you know, I, I guess you would call it not live stops. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But for the drivers, that puts it all on them. And, and I look to drivers like Zane Smith that are on a roll to be tough to beat. Your buddy Stuart Friesen that won there before. <laughs> uh, but the one driver I'm looking at that's been good at mile and a half that hasn't been on fire yet this season is Corey Heim. I want to see if he can turn things up a little bit here in Texas. Well, I I think this is an opportunity. It's an some, uh, in some unique situations, does he not? He, he warned him. I mean, he, he, told he did. Him he told he him. Did. I can't wait to see that full conversation, though, what he learns from <laughs> Tyler Ingram, both about the track and, of course, the farm as well. So, one thing to note, guys, North Wilkesboro, the race. It from here, I wish I was watching from inside the cockpit on that one. Well, I went up and watched that tire test of the trucks. In 35 laps, they slowed down two and a half seconds. Wow. So Thanks it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. It's going to be an incredible show, no doubt about it. So will the Texas race, you got your Texas two-step down? 
Do you know? Well, how, how my step. 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 I got my six oh, step. Oh, come step. on. Okay, well, we'll see. I, I know you had a little extra two-step today because you were lending a helping hand. He's a spinner wrench uh, out Yeah, there. I had old spinner wrench and, you know. Good for you, though. You're a good That's man to have around when you That's got flat. changed tires when he started racing. He Is said. there the, ooh, the shots fired here a little bit. Okay. All right, Saturday, guys. It's going to be a very busy schedule for all. And I'm sure Mr. Penske knows who he is now, right? They're called baristas. <laughs> yeah, also just barista, so here. Both of those said. were funny. Uh, but hey, if, if, if Mr. Roger, Roger Penske asks you to do anything, you just say yes, yes sir. Yeah, yeah yes, he's kind of one of those people you just do whatever Absolutely. he asks right. you to do. I look forward to seeing that story, though, of course, on race day for the Xfinity Series. Time now to take a look at our social garage. Yes. Baseball game, but uh, happy that they won. Uh, his old team won this weekend, so all is good with those yeah. guys. My Atlanta Braves won, there too. You go. They won their opening game. And speaking of that, baseball it is back this weekend. Giants and Yankees or Phillies take on the Rangers. Of course, all of that begins Saturday at 3.30 Eastern on Fox. But we have a big race coming up this weekend. You're headed out to Texas. I'm headed like to Texas, now. so I'll be there. I'll be watching you guys on TV tomorrow. you got a busy day tomorrow. Uh, we do. We've got three shows, and I'm looking forward to it. A busy weekend of racing. It's a good thing, yeah.